Welcome to entry then. Two aces for me. Last two of the season. We start off with a bumper. And it's only way it's under one mile. And uh, two miles. It's one mile, six bumper. So we could get a different result here. Enlightened. Joshua Sutherland. Free memory. Leon Man. Mensberg. Little Rock. Wigman. Pretty Jared. Blackstone. Cherry. David Lai. Galubista. Duo. Polypo Racing. Abbevea Sour. And if packs with Derek Inton, Melon Lover, Darren Thompson, and the Paws. Jocelyn chucking two at it. Orders and off. Um, Leon means you got a run in this. You might be listening to the comp. Can you give us an heads up when the next season will be? You and Alex will decide, I suppose. Um, if we can get it on the forum, it'd be helpful. Hopefully we'll have a Christmas break in between it, so you know you, you got to time it around the week six to end before Christmas. If any, you know, but it's up to you and Alex. We'd like to get one before, you know, before and after Christmas as we usually do. Well, let's concentrate on this nice and flat this and Little Rock Wagman Wingman. Sorry. Leads by a length from the Paws, If Parks and Enlightened, Melon Lover, Free Memory, Blackstone Cherry, and Gulisp the Duel. I didn't name it, it was a generated name, I didn't think it was going to do much, so I didn't name it. And he did one on the flat, so he kept his name after two, don't they? And they couldn't change it. Blackstone Cherry is just about marker. Little Rock Wingman leads from Enlightened on the outside of Reef Parks and in between them the Poles behind these three memory Melon Lover, Kabbalista Duel, Abiyah Sarah and Blackstone Cherry. They already approaching the six marker here in the final bumper of the season. Little Rock Wingman by a neck from Enlightened on the outside. Eve Pax is there still, along with the Pawsman who's making ground is Melon Lover. Gubalista Duel on the inside, three memories there. And the two that are struggling a bit are Blackstone Cherry who's gone challenging a bay of sour out to be the field they swinging and on the home straight. And the inside the final four furlongs, nasty too, so enlightened his chest probably just sticking his head in front according to that belief. Parks is now come through to take it up. But now he's been pre pressed by enlightened and the pause above gone for Joshua Sutherland behind he's come good blast a duel and then comes free memory, the man's big runner, then comes Brandy's upper Sarah making good ground they're inside the final two now and as they go in it East Park's on the far side the great gesture about the ninth clear as they go inside the final two furlongs down towards the final furlong East Park is about a length clear three memory second upper say on the outside of it good ballist to do all in fourth these four and you got the head of the Joshua and pay up towards line up but East Park's is 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 a bumper walls all all season, you're yeah, gonna win by a couple of lengths. Free memory in second, so a couple of horses found a shorter distance, too short. One mile six. Heath Parks found it just right for him and wins it well for Doug Hinton, the champion and the chaser. Train that second free memory, and he took the as well with our bias sour. Fourth was good blast, a duel in fourth and fifth, the pause. And I'll be back for the final race of the season.